Hey, what is up you guys? How you guys doing? So, after watching Dragon Ball Super episode 97 for like the 10th time already, and I started thinking, like, who are the five people that could like, kill Goku? And I did see a video on YouTube from the channel SS Mag, and it's really interesting guys, and he gave us his take on the five people who can kill Jiren, and that was honestly really interesting, go check it out, the link in the description. So Goku is obviously in the power of tournament and so is Vegeta and everybody like that. So in this video I'm gonna focus on Goku mainly. And I'm gonna give you guys my opinion on who can like kill, legit kill Goku, somewhat kill Goku basically. So guys, at number 5, we have Frieza. Now you might say, why Frieza? In the revival of F-Arc, Frieza only trained for a little amount of time. And he was able to catch up to Goku just like that. A Goku who fought Beerus, he was able to catch up to Goku at that trade. Imagine if Frieza like trained for a little bit more. Imagine what he could do. And I'm pretty sure Frieza is going to have some new skill in this part of tournament. Which I'm really excited to see, guys. Frieza and Frost have some devious plans set up. I'm I'm pretty sure they do. Because, like, they on the first man, they talked. And they got the similar interest. And Frieza hates Goku, guys. Frieza wants to kill Goku anytime he's, he can, honestly. He's not going to do it right now. But he, at some point, I feel like Frieza will eliminate Goku or somebody. And, um, yeah, that's like Frieza. So, Frieza honestly hates Goku. And he has plans, I'm pretty sure. And he will execute them when there's like a perfect opportunity. Up next we have Hit. Now you might say why Hit. Hit is an assassin and his specialty is to kill. And although in the Tournament of Power it is not is banned to kill basically. and But he still can. Accidentally he could probably kill someone. And if you do kill somebody in accident you do get disqualified. But it's gonna build up more tension towards the episodes. Up next we have Topo. Now you might say why Topo. Because look. When Topo first fought Goku, he was not weak, guys. He was not weak at all. He was really strong. And Goku had to, like, go into his blue form in order to, like, combat him, basically. And after Goku was transformed, it shocked everyone, even the gods. They were like, how could a mortal's power rival even gods? And the powers, the pressure was so immense that they were, like, super scared, guys. And so was to uh, Topo. Topo knew something was going on. He was getting slapped from all directions, which was really good to see. Honestly, it was so savage of Goku. But guys, once again, don't get me wrong, Topo is super strong. Goku had to go into his blue form in order to like battle him basically and to have a chance with him. And if you guys really paid attention, I think I'm not the only one who saw that. Actually, when Goku launched his Kamehameha to Topo, he probably killed him. Honestly, he probably killed him. Because look, even Whis recognized it, Beerus recognized it, everybody recognized it. Like, oh my god, he went too far. He probably killed him. So as soon as Goku did that, I think the Grand Priest reversed time and like he stopped the fight from happening because he knew that Goku killed Topo with that Kamehameha. Even so, even if Whis recognized it, even uh, Beerus recognized it as well. This is like a theory I came up with. I'm pretty sure like probably the Grand Priest is going to reveal it at the end. Like what really happened. And it will be really amazing to see like, oh my god, he had to reverse time from Go for Goku not to kill Topo basically. At the number two spot, we have the Omni King. Well, guys, you might say, why Omni King? He's not a fighter. He's not fighting in the Tournament of Power. But this little guy has so much power that he could erase the universe and not even be faced by. Honestly, he just went there. When Zamasu was there, he said, a world like this cannot exist. And everybody lost their shit. Like, Goku escaped. Goku knew he was going to destroy the whole thing. And it was really super amazing to see, no pun intended. If your universe loses in the part of Tournament, you do get erased and the spoilers guys if you guys don't know universe 9 is the first universe to get destroyed like honestly it's gonna get erased you guys have seen on dragon ball super 97 almost at the ending he got surrounded by eight fighters those all of them are from like universe 9 and goku beats all of them spoilers guys i seen the spoilers goku beats all of them and then he uh, that results in the termination of universe 9 which i thought they're gonna er erase all the universe at the end but they're doing it right now like immediately because like that, that's like it's gonna build up more tension because like it's gonna be like oh my god things are gonna get more serious i'm really excited for it to see that actually and the omni king might be small but he got them hands he got them like small hands at the number one spot we have jiren that was probably obvious to you guys jiren it, he's so strong when goku went to say hi to him or something of that sort jiren came back behind him and he was like get lost and that was like to me that was shocking like how the how did he do that? Like, honestly, how? How? Goku even genuinely, he was even genuinely scared. Although Goku was in his base form, he was still, still, he's strong. Even Goku is strong. He's still, like, how did Jiren do that? Like, honestly, how did he do that? And guys, no more spoiler. Jiren is the one who eliminates Kel, uh, the female Broly, basically, the interpretation of uh, Broly. He eliminates her. And that's like a spoiler, basically, guys, that came up. And if you guys don't know, yeah, I'm sorry. But yeah, so that is it. And basically, 
Kale loses all of her senses and she basically attacks everybody, the female Broly, she attacks everybody, even her own teammates at times. And at the end when she's going to like, she's basically taking out everybody from, from what we see in the spoilers. She's basically like taking out like every single person in her way, even some of her own people basically. And at the end she stumbled upon Jiren and Jiren one shot at her and she was out, she was out of the tournament. And that was something scary and I do want to see hit versus Jiren for like even for like half episode or like two minutes I want to see that I want to see how they compare because hit is super fast he could skip time so is Jiren and it's a thing that Jiren might be blind like honestly he might be blind he might depend on energy to like go to places basically he, he has a, he's like a special skill and Jiren guys could kill Goku honestly he can and that is why Goku one more spoiler guys Goku is gonna have a new transformation the last time we seen the Goku is like a Somewhat a new transformation was when he fought Hit, and he has the Kaioken Super Saiyan Blue on. Yeah, well, that was really super amazing to see, no pun intended. And Jiren is gonna bring up Goku's Limit Breaker, like he's gonna put more pressure on Goku, and Goku's gonna transform. And that point on, Jiren is gonna become Goku's the B word. So, anyways, guys, that is about. It. Thank you guys for watching this video. Guys, enjoyed it, and I'm really excited for Dragon Ball Super like upcoming episodes. So, sorry, it should be you guys, and um. That is about it. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe and subscribe already. Anyways, guys, catch you guys later. Peace out.